Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen with another live coding session. Uh, so uh, today we are diving deep into fascinating coding challenge uh, from Litco Daily Challenges, Pascal Triangle 2. Uh, so uh, this one is uh, really interesting. So let's uh, dive in. So first, understand the problem. Given an integer row index, we need to return the row index row of Pascal triangle. So now if you aren't familiar with Pascal triangle, don't worry, I will walk you through. So as you can see, each number here uh, is the sum of two number uh, directly above it uh, flowing here. Uh, 2, 1, 3, uh, 1, 3, 4, 3, 3, 6, and so on. And to find a specific uh, row uh, without uh, reconstructing the whole uh, triangle. So uh, let's uh, take a look at example. So if we are given, uh, for example, row index three, our output should be one, three, three, uh, one. So let's uh, pause it for a moment. And yes, so here's uh, three. And as you can see, it's one, three, three, one. So this particular row and this should be our output without reconstructing the uh, whole triangle. So now the, there is a brilliant mathematical property uh, that's going to be our secret uh, yeah, solution. So each row in Pascal triangle can be represented using combination. And this means we can calculate the element directly without building an uh, entire triangle. And this approach will be super efficient. So, all right, let's uh, dive into a coding. So we will start by defining our method, get row. And we know that the first element of any row is always one. So let's start uh, with this. So uh, results will be one and previous will be one. And four key in range one to row index plus one. Uh, next value previous time row index minus key plus one modulo key and results append next value and previous will be next value and return result as simple as this let's uh, run it to verify if it's working so hopefully it will yep all good so now for our uh, yeah, tactic we are using a combination formula and we can compute each subsequent element uh, in our row without recomputing whole uh, triangle. So now uh, you can see how we are using the previous element to compute the next one. And that's uh, the magic of a binomial coefficient in uh, action. So uh, let's submit it for unsynthesis cases as well to double verify it's working. So yes, as you can see, all good, we beat 96-68% uh, 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 yeah, with respect to runtime, so uh, really good. And yeah, if you find uh, Python not your primary language, I will provide a link in the description below in implementation in other languages like, for example, Rust, so in Rust beating 100% or uh, Go 77 or same, yeah. Uh, Java 100 or uh, C++, but logic remain uh, the same. So it's really a nice uh, task. And well, uh, that's wrap up uh, today live coding session. I hope you found it uh, insightful and uh, that now you have a deeper appreciation of the beauty of mathematics uh, in coding. And remember, it's not always about the brute force approach. Sometimes the elegant uh, lies uh, in understanding the problem deeply and also, if possible, using uh, some mathematical formulas. So before we end, uh, a quick uh, reminder, if you found this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now is perfect time. So uh, yeah, uh, I will have uh, posted in the future a lot of exciting uh, contests uh, and yeah, tutorial challenges, machine learning, uh, tech, and uh, much more. And uh, 
Until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated, and happy coding.